Peace and blessings. I just want to continue on what I usually make my content about, you know, spiritual warfare and the correlation between narcissism and having demons, you know, attached to your vessel, um, becoming demonic agents, um, you know, NPCs, um, you know, as I like to call them. You know, one of the biggest tactics, and, and there are various, there are many um tactics, you know, demonically, you know, that these people use, these demonic agents, um, is, is psychological warfare. You know, they want you to be under the spirit of fear. You know, but in the Bible, the spirit of the fear is of the devil. They want you to become them. They want you to become reminiscent of them in their daily, you know, walk in this life. Um, they want you to be very fearful. You know, narcissism, you know, the world, you know, narcissistic abuse, the world would define it, you know, as, you know, narcissistic abuse. But it's demonic. It's demonic in nature. It's demonic in origin. You know, after you are abused by narcissists, and if you are not chosen, it's, it's a very difficult task to get through, you know, from, you know, information you know, I receive, you know, from Google, you know, YouTube, you know, psychological studies, you know, professors, you know, various you know, informational pieces that I've read and, and studied upon, you know, about this narcissism thing. You know, it does a toll on you. It takes a toll on you. And as chosen, a lot of this world, or a lover of God, they expect you to, you know, be dealt the same cards as, you know, a regular person who goes through narcissistic abuse. They're fishing for it. They're, that's what they look for. You know, when you're in your wilderness mode, stage period, whatever you want to label it as, that's what these narcissists, these demons, be looking for. Signs of, of narcissistic abuse, signs of you waning, signs of you getting weaker, sign, you know, but God is going to carry you. They're not going to understand because they are disconnected from God. They will not understand it. They are given over to animalistic minds, to carnal minds, because they're demon possessed or under demonic strongholds or they're given to animalistic minds. It says in the Bible, you know, I'll leave that scripture below in the description. They're given over to animalistic minds, carnal minds. They love things of the carnal, reprobate minds. You know, gang stalk you, you know, have you in fear, um, you know, they'll follow you, they'll, 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 stalk, they'll stalk you, excuse me, they'll stalk you, you know, they'll, 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 they'll know information, demons will give them information about you to say randomly, you know, to try to trip you up. Their, their task is to keep you in fear of your purpose, to keep you in fear of life, to keep you in, to be, make you become a demonic vessel. They want you to be just like them. Because those are the tactics most likely that they've seen everyone in their community fall under, you know, under free, Freemason control and agendas. They've seen everyone in their community, their cities, their states fall under Freemason, you know, the foot of Freemasons through those type of tactics. But if you are chosen... The light of this world, it doesn't affect you. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't go for you. They will not understand it because they are reprobate minds. They're carnal minded. They do not understand things of God spiritually. They are disconnected from God. They wouldn't understand. That is your biggest weapon against the devil. It's the fact that people forgot about God. People don't remember the truth about God. People don't understand what connection to the Holy Father. You know, Yahweh, our spiritual father, actually means being marked by him, being chosen by him. Because somewhere in their life, they've given over to demonic, they're, they're, they're given over to be demonic vessels. They, they lost their connection with God. Their connection with God is severed. And some people for, for totality, some people for the totality of their existence until they go to hell. Some people are under demonic strongholds, which means they have a chance. They have a very strong chance to repent and and. and to get back to the kingdom of light, but most people that you know are under the kingdom of darkness forever. That is your your biggest tactic against the devil is these demonic agents don't understand things of God anymore. Somewhere along the lines, they got older, they became more and more demonic. They don't understand things spiritually of God anymore. So they wouldn't understand you. You're an anomaly in your society as chosen, as the life of this world. You're an anomaly. They do not understand you because they do not understand God anymore. 
They forgot about God. They, they lost respect for God. They lost hope in God. They lost God. They lost their connection to God. So they're going to treat you like a common narcissist, like a common regular person. But you're chosen. You're marked by God. God carries you through everything. God covers you. The Holy Spirit is in your vessel. You're a vessel of God. They do not understand this. That is your biggest tactic against the devil. His demonic agents will not ever understand anything of God. Because they have lost that ability. So they'll continually and continually and continually fish for you to become reminiscent of people who, who went under soul to soul, you know, so to speak, narcissistic abuse to see the signs of it. But you'll never, you will never fall under those, those, those signs. Because you were chosen. You were allowed this world. It is not meant for you. It doesn't apply to you. It doesn't affect you. But they will not understand this. But you just have to resist. You have to understand. Once you get to the middle grounds of your spiritual walk, you know, you went, you went through a little bit of spiritual warfare, then you understand what it's really about. It'll become comical, like it is to me right now. Everything the devil throws at me now is comical. Because the devil never switches up. The devil throws the same tactics at you in the loop. Because that is what worked for people in your community, in your society, in your state, who weren't connected to God. That is what works for them because they have no connection with God. But you are marked by God. You are chosen by God. But they will not understand this. This is your biggest weapon against the devil being just chosen. Because they will treat you like a common person. They will treat you like a normal person. They will assume everything that will affect a normal person will affect you spiritually. They will spiritually attack you like you are a normal person. Because they don't understand anything godly spiritually. Everything godly that is true, that is truly from God has been lost in them. They have reprobate minds. They have carnal minds. They have lost their... They are animalistic minds. They have lost their connection to God. So the tactics they throw... The, excuse me. The tactics they throw at you will be for a normal person. Not a chosen. Not a light of this world. Not a lover of God. Who's truly connected to God. You don't have to be chosen to be under the Holy Spirit. But anyone truly connected to the Holy Spirit, like chosen ones are, the light of this world, or true lovers of God, God will kill you. People, for, people have forgot about this. Narcissists, demonic agents, they don't understand it. They will not understand it. They cannot. God has been removed from them. And it is no way of a judgment. It's just the truth. God said, I will give you over to the kingdom of darkness, to paraphrase. You know, God makes, God makes you spiritually, your spiritual, your spiritual body, your soul, your spiritual being who, who, who you are inside as a spirit. He lets your mother birth you in her womb, create you physically. And he gives you your own decisions. And based upon those decisions, based upon your heart that you carry, the spirit that you carry, you'll be under the kingdom of darkness or the kingdom of light. And God will place you there by the choices you make, by the heart that you carry, by the decisions that you make in this life. Spirit of fear is of the devil. These demonic agents, they, they, cease, they will not cease to push fear on you. But there's nothing fair. You're chosen. This is assimilation. 2020 marked the end times. Anyone who wasn't of the kingdom of darkness, who is not a demonic agent, a demonic puppet, an NPC, is in assimilation. This word is assimilation. It's like the Matrix. It is the matrix. This is assimilation to, to get you to lose your soul. So if you have not lost your soul yet, 
you're most likely a lover of God, a true lover of God, or you're chosen in life of this world. This is a simulation that we're under. A demonic spell of witchcraft. These demonic agents understand this. They know it all too well. They have demonic handlers. Was I showing many of my videos previously, recently, excuse me, recently. In the physical realm, you won't be able to see it, but in the spiritual realm, you'll be able to see it. If you are, if you are blessed from Yahweh with them gifts, to see into the, the spiritual realm, excuse me. Everyone walking amongst you who's demonic puppet has a demonic handler that walks with them as well. In the spirit realm, in the spirit, they're demon possessed. And a lot of them have various demons, have plenty of demons. This is a simulation that we're under now. These are the end times. Whoever has not yet given their soul over to the kingdom of darkness, this is a simulation to get you to do that. Or to keep bearing your cross and to get to heaven. You have to see, you have to pray for the gift of discernment to be able to see it. This is not something easily done. I didn't see it before 2020. I definitely seen it after. I understood, I overstood. What this world was, it is a simulation. Everyone you know in your state, you know, maybe 80% are demonic puppets, are demonic agents, are agents of the devil. Because they got what they wanted from the devil, from this world, and signed their soul over for it. And this is a simulation place for those who are not yet of the kingdom of darkness. But as long as you know who you are, as long as you stay close to God, as long as you stay true to God, long, you, we're sinful. We're fleshly. We're always going to sin. We're always going to be of sin. We're always going to sin. We are born of sin since Adam and Eve. We're descendants of Noah. We're born of sin. We're born of flesh. But as long as you truly love God and stay connected to God and have faith as big as a mustard seed, this spiritual warfare becomes easy, it becomes comical. These demonic agents are very one-track minded, they're very one-dimensional. They only do one or two things. You'll see it after a while, after a few years of going through the same spirit. It's it, it's very one-dimensional. There's not a thousand tactics that they use, it's one or two in a loop. They have a handful of demonic tactics specifically made from the devil or high-ranking demons for you, for your walk in this world. And they will use those demonic tactics in a loop, in a loop, in a loop until you truly connect yourself with God. Then it becomes apparent what is happening, what you're going through. They'll call you schizophrenic. They'll say you're crazy. But with the gift of discernment, you'll see. This world is, is, is coming to an end. Jesus is on his way back. These are the end times. God has counteracted what has happened in 2020 when people became demonic agents. He's activated people for the kingdom of light to preach the gospel. Or whatever your spiritual uh, uh, job is with, with Yahweh. He's counteracted it. God sees in your heart. He understands who you are before you were born. So if you were chosen, that is why. Because he know, he knew, excuse me, he knew who you were before you were born. He knew what you would do with the gifts he blessed you with. It will seem hard, it will seem difficult. The devil will put you through many tasks. He will he will send many roadblocks to your spiritual journey. You know, he might block you from working, he might block you from, you know, moving on with your life, but it's only for a short period of time. The devil has a time stamp to when he can be in your life, when he can dabble in your life. He can, he can mess with you because you, you keep resisting the devil. He has to flee. Study Job and parallel it to your life. As chosen as light of this world, your walk with God is very parallel to Job. You'll go to isolation. You'll go into the wilderness mode. The devil will take things from you. He will test you. He will send various tests at you, which I just described previously. And once you get to the end of that period, God will bless you. But the devil understands that you will be blessed. So he wants to stop you from that. Because you being blessed, you breaking through the matrix, you going onto your path, 
is going to bring others with you. Whoever is under demonic strongholds, who is not fully demon possessed, as of yet, excuse me, you most likely can bring them with you. Nine times out of ten, you will bring them with you. Whoever truly wants to break free the matrix, you have the 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 potential, and you have the purpose to bring others with you. And the devil seeks to stop that, but he has limits. The devil has limits. The devil is not all powerful. The government is not all powerful. The Freemasons who push this demonic agenda into this world are not all powerful. Only God is. God controls everything. God knows when you're going to be blessed. The devil knows. And they will seek to do nothing to stop you from getting to your blessings. Because you will bring others with you. That is your purpose. It's chosen. Life is world. That is my purpose. That is others' purpose before me because they have done it. They have led me and gave me breadcrumbs to what I'm doing right now. It's talking to you, talking to the masses, preaching the gospel. I'm most likely at the end of, you know, strong spiritual warfare in my life because many things that the devil has thrown at me just, you know, kind of, it's backfiring. Everything's backfiring. The, the devil used to witchcraft me and send demonic agents to witchcraft me in multitudes. And now God has taken the ability to witchcraft me away from them. I've seen it because I have the gift of discernment. I understand it. Because like people, you know, like fleshly beings, God gives us things and we pervert them. We abuse them. We are not appreciative of them. And with that comes repercussions. When you lie with many women, you take on their blessings and their curses, female or male. It is repercussions to what you do in this life. Everything has a repercussion. Everything has a spiritual parallel. So when people witchcraft you, people, you know, send demonic attacks your way, you know, hate speech, you know, slander you, you know, block you from doing things. They're setting you up for getting blessed. They're setting you up for... They understand this. The devil understands this. High-ranking demons understand this. They realize the very thing that they're doing is setting you up to get blessed. So they cannot stop in what they're doing. Excuse me, uh, the noise distracts. I'm sorry. They cannot stop in what they're doing. They have no choice but to demonically attack you in the loop, even if it makes no sense. Because that's their job. You know, the devil used to witchcraft me, you know, a lot. He used to send agents to witchcraft me. You know, everywhere I go, people know my name. They know me now. They know I'm the light of this world. I'm chosen. You know, these used to bother me. It's just slander me. You know, the, the God has taken the ability to witchcraft me away from them. Because the devil abused it. Because I've done what I was supposed to do for God. I've cut demons out of my life. I've started my spiritual journey with Yahweh. I've done my due diligence to start everything I need to do for God. And the devil has still have yet to flee fully. So God took the ability to witchcraft me away. I used to feel the spiritual weight of witchcraft. Now it is simple talking. When people witchcraft me in the past, when I was first activated up until this point in my life, I used to feel the spiritual weight of it. Now I do not because God took the ability to witchcraft me away. Because like a child, like a narcissist, you know, demonic agents, empty vessels, narcissists, they, they gain things and they abuse them. They overuse them. They make things run its course. Till it's null and void. That is what you sign up for with God. When you, when you are a son or daughter of God, he gives you things. He blesses you with life. He blesses you with the ability to create life, the ability to exalt him, to serve him. To live for him. 
But if you abuse the gifts that God has blessed you with, he will give you over to the kingdom of darkness. And in parallel to that, when you are going through spiritual warfare, when the devil ceases to resist, ceases to flee, excuse me, ceases to flee, he will take certain demonic tactics away from the devil to let him know that his time is coming to an end, bothering you in your spiritual journey. And that's when you will see these demonic agents get more hasty, get more scared, get more angry at you. Because when the devil is winning, he's very quiet. When the devil is losing, he attacks you the most. He attacks you very greatly, very heavy. He throws many things at you when he knows he is losing. So if you are being spiritually attacked very heavily, you are doing the things Yahweh wants you to do. Do not falter. Do not lose faith. Do not lose hope. You have to understand this. You have to understand this. When the devil is winning, he is very quiet. He will be quiet in your life because you are doing the things that he wants you to do, which is to put yourself in a position to be turned to the kingdom of darkness. But when the devil is losing, he attacks you very heavily. When you are on your way to your blessings, the devil attacks you very heavily because he is scared. These demons are scared. These agents are scared. This is a game to them. This is, this is, you are a winning spiritual lottery ticket. For demonic agents That's what they believe That is their motivation To turn you over to the kingdom of darkness It's like you Are a mega million Lottery ticket But they do not understand And they cannot understand Because they are disconnected from God That God is going to carry you regardless God is going to bring you to where you want Where he, excuse me, where he wants you to be regardless The devil can throw whatever he wants at you he can resist as much as he wants. But if God wants something to happen, it is going to happen. Whatever God has set in place, no man can destroy. Not even the devil himself. Not even any high-ranking demons. Not even you yourself. God will put you in a position to do what he wants you to do. As long as you truly believe in him. Like me and others who speak the truth like I do, do. You know, I say all these things, you know, I, I preach this gospel, you know, I do my due diligence. But I'm a sinful man. I'm a flesh. You know, I'm 28. I lost my virginity at 21. I lust for women. I'm a young man. You know, but I understand it. And I fight it. I do not lie with women. I haven't lied with women in almost a year. It'll be a year in March. Because I understand that God is more important than me lying with a woman. God has given me the spiritual gift to create life with my wife. Not to abuse it, not to destroy it, not to pervert it. But I love women. I cherish women. I seek to lead a woman. But I have to do my due diligence with God. I have to lean on God's understanding and not my own. And you have to as well. You have to. It's very pivotal. Everything won't make sense with God and your spiritual walk till it makes perfect sense. That is how it will be. That is how it will seem. It won't make sense until everything Perfectly makes sense. Everything in my life spiritually makes sense. But it didn't in the beginning. When I was first learning, when I was first taking my baby steps into the spiritual walk, to being chosen, to being the light of this world. But everything makes sense now. Where I have to go, what I have to do. You cannot let any demonic agent, whether it be a family or friends, an intimate relationship, a work associate, stop you from receiving your blessings, your birthright, your purpose, your gifts from God. It is yours for the taking. This is a simulation. 
Do your due diligence. Receive every blessing that God wishes to bestow on you. God wants to bestow blessings in your life. But you have to take certain steps to get there. God cannot hold our hand through the spiritual walk. Everything cannot be easy. Most likely before you were blessed, excuse me, before you were activated, many things in your life was easy. And when you were activated, things became hard. Because the kingdom of darkness was alerted to you. People around you who are living a, a seamlessly aimless life, joy-filled, because they are of the kingdom of darkness. The devil does not bother anyone who is of his own. The devil will not bother anyone who is already demon-possessed or under demonic strongholds. He will not bother them. They are living, you know, don't get me wrong, they are living their physical damnation. They are being cursed, but they will not show it. It will not really show unless you have to give the discernment to see it like I do. You know, I can see it. I have to give the discernment. I see their physical damnation. I see the things they go through spiritually. They're being, they're being spiritually damned before hell. So do not be envious of people who are in this world. They're living their physical damnation before the spiritual one. But in the beginning of your spiritual journey, you're, you won't be able to see it. It won't really show. Because king, because agents of Satan, people in the kingdom of darkness, they're not really bothered by the devil. The devil will not bother them. Because he already has their soul. Why bother them? He already has their soul. There's no point to bother them. They're already going to hell. There is no point to bother them. And like I always say in the end of my videos, cloak yourself the arm of God. You know, become a prayer warrior. You know, pray for spiritual gifts, especially gift of discernment. You know, boast of your prayer regimen. You know, peace and blessings.